Bella Torch is currently working on another massive music video. So to celebrate, I'm gonna surprise her on set with a giant version of her iconic alpaca. <gasps> oh my god! Bella's one of my favorite creators and I want this to be perfect. So we started planning. We are gonna recreate a seven foot tall version of her favorite plush alpaca. But that's when we ran into our very first problem. So far we haven't had any luck finding a pattern online we can use. Yeah man, I think our best bet is to get one of these plush alpacas and see it in person make our own pattern. All right, let's order one. And after a few days, our plush alpaca finally arrived. My goal is to build an exact replica of Bella's most prized possession. My best friend, Paco, this big boy. <laughs> but ours is gonna be way bigger. It's gonna be over seven feet tall. It's gonna be massive if we can make this work. First, we take this little guy and trace all of the body parts so it's the exact same shape. Once we trace every single part of the alpaca, we will then use a projector to scale it up properly. We now have the alpaca all scaled up. We broke it down into different parts like the head, body, and legs. So that way, when we go to the fabric store, we know exactly how much materials we'll need. I have a list of everything we need right here. I'm also gonna be bringing this alpaca so we can match the fabrics. Now let's go get the materials. Now that we have our plan, it's time to start shopping. We're gonna need a lot of fabric. To to build a stuffed animal over seven feet tall requires a ton of material. This project is gonna cost a lot of money. Since we're gonna be building a massive stuffed animal, we're gonna need something to put it together. I have a question. What's your most expensive sewing machine? It's $17,000. $17,000? Will it sew it for me? No, you, you're gonna have to put in some time okay. if you're going to make the biggest stuffed animal. Okay, so we have multiple problems. I am not gonna pay $17,000 for a sewing machine and I don't even know how to sew. While I figure out these problems, the team started tracing the patterns onto the fabric. There's so many pieces to do. And while they do that, I'm gonna need to learn how to sew. So I decided to call on the only expert I knew that can make me a professional. Okay, Grandma, I need you to teach me how to sew. Oh, I thought we were done. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we just started. Here, there's a little tiny hole. And you gotta take your thread and put it through there. And you can play with this for an hour sometime. I don't feel like I'm gonna be very good at sewing. If you can't sew, then you probably can't write because all you're doing is pushing on the thing. I can't really write that well. How old is this sewing machine? I got this in 1968. So this thing's like 60 years old. <laughs> You put this under here, put that down, and then under here, there's a foot press. My grandma was making this look very easy. Now it's my time to try. You're gonna have to guide it with this hand. Here we go. Oh. You broke your thread. What does that mean? That? <laughs> pushed it through too fast or pulled it through too fast. This is actually really hard. It's not as easy. After hours of training, I'm still not ready to take this project on alone, but luckily my friend Ben is an amazing artist and has done countless sewing projects in the past. We're gonna be putting our massive alpaca in the same outfit Bella wore in her music video, Build a Bad Word. I can't say that word. So to replicate the wardrobe, we're gonna be combining these two fabrics together to give it the same patchy look. Building a stuffed animal this big requires hundreds of thousands of stitches and tons of work. After days of hard work, the fabrics are sewn together. Now I need to add the black stitching and I should be talented enough to do that part. So we're using this small needle and the yarn going through every little area to give it this texture. This is a lot of work. I keep pricking my finger with this little needle. This sucks so bad. I was finally able to start putting my newfound sewing skills to the test and it was looking incredible. Hey grandma, your training helped me. I'm sewing. What is this? Me and Brian just finished doing all of these stitches and it took 13 hours. This is so tedious, but it looks amazing. Usually when I try to surprise people, I have no idea how to contact them, but luckily this time I've been in touch with Bella's manager the entire time, so things are gonna be way easier. So the plan is to bring our giant alpaca on set when Bella is recording her new music video and surprise her. Bella has no idea we're doing this, so I really hope she likes it. I don't know, it looks nothing like this yet. We're not done yet. Well, I hope it looks like this. Next, we're gonna start sewing the alpaca's face together. Ben, we need you to make the sound of an alpaca. I think that's Chewbacca. <laughs> it looks great though. Thank you. <laughs> so on the smaller alpaca, the ears stand straight up, but since ours is so big, they just flop right over. So we're using this thicker material to put inside of the ear so they stand straight up. Time to sew the ear. So both ears are on, they're not gonna flop over, and the face looks incredible. This thing is so massive, look at this. It's gonna be taller than me. <laughs> This is crazy. The only problem with a stuffed animal this big is we're gonna need a lot of fluff. I'm currently on the way to the store right now to buy every single pillow they have. These pillows are $7? And I have to buy every single one of them. I am literally about to buy every single pillow they have. I kind of feel bad, but... We're doing this for you, Bella. This project is going to cost thousands of dollars. And speaking of that, if you subscribe right now, you could win thousands of dollars just like this. So for being subscribed, you just won a thousand dollars. Wow. Everybody subscribe for a thousand dollars. I haven't even gotten half of the pillows yet and I've already filled up two carts. Do you think it's enough pillows? This is the last one. Every single pillow at Walmart. 
My car is absolutely filled to the top with pillows. This is ridiculous. I don't even know where my sister's at. I'm right here. This is insane. Now that we have all of our pillows, we're gonna start cutting them open and getting all of the fluff out. But Matthew, before we cut them open, there's something I've always wanted to do. What? That was pretty lame, I'm not gonna lie. Next, it was time to start cutting each of the pillows open to get as much fluff as we possibly can. Aaron, since Hayden jumped into the pillows, I dare you to jump into this. Okay. I feel like this is gonna go really bad. Oh my God! You good? Uh, it was a little painful, I'm not gonna lie. Now that we have all of our cotton out, it's time to finally start filling Bella Porch's stuffed animal with all of the fluff. Wait, I can't keep this? Sorry, buddy. Ew, look at that. <laughs> it looks like Baby Yoda's little hairs. Next, we've installed this inner layer to hold the cotton so it keeps the alpaca to shape. So somehow we have to fit that massive fabric inside of this little tiny hole. How are we gonna do that? This process took over four hours alone. We have to be extremely careful because if anything rips, we'll have to start all the way over. We were able to successfully get the brace inside. Now we can add the cotton. This is so heavy and it's just filled with fluff for the inside of the alpaca. This stuffed animal is massive. It's gonna require a ton of cotton to complete. I'm kind of getting throwbacks of my childhood at build a Bear. <laughs> After hours of work, we started to make some good progress. This thing is starting to look incredible. Look how massive that is. How heavy is this thing gonna be? I don't know, like 10,000 pounds. We're almost out of cotton already and we haven't even finished filling the head yet. This is insane. I've been stuffing this for about four hours and we're not even close to being done. This takes a lot. This is actually really tiring. Bella's shooting her music video in two days, so we have to finish this tonight so we can start the 2,000 mile drive to LA. So we're on the last stretches before we're finishing this. We have to leave in about three hours to be able to make it in time for her music video. We gotta be quick. <laughs> this is actually so heavy for a teddy bear. It's so big that you can't even see Ben's behind it. I'm here. It probably weighs 300 pounds, literally. This thing is so hard to carry. I legit don't even think this is gonna fit in the minivan. After weeks of planning and work, it's time to finally deliver this to her. All right. Next stop, Bella Porch. While the team started driving, I headed to the airport. So we just made it to the airport. The guys are currently driving all the way to California in horrible weather. And now it's time for us to catch a flight, but it might get canceled. You can barely see the planes that are just right there. There is no way our plane's taking off. So all of these people have been stuck in the airport all day because no planes are taking off. This is not good at all. And after hours of delays, we finally got the okay to board the plane. Next stop, Bella Porch's music video. Yeah! I'm actually kind of nervous. After a quick flight, we arrived. So we just made it to LA with a giant alpaca. Now it's time to go and surprise Bella Porch at her music video. I'm really hoping everything goes well. It's massive, it's super delicate, and I've never been on the set of a music video before, so I'm super nervous. We're four minutes away! Ah! I hope this goes good. All right, we're here at Bella Porch's music video. Let's go do this. So we're trying to take this out right now and there's a ton of bees everywhere. Dude, there's bees everywhere. What? We can't even grab it. They're gonna attack us. <coughs> I think I just swallowed one. We have to be really careful when we're grabbing the neck because the head's extremely heavy. This is so massive. The bees are everywhere. This is great. All right, it's finally time to surprise Bella. Hi, Bella. Hi. We have a giant surprise for you. We worked very hard on it. <gasps> Is this Paco? Yeah, in your outfit. In the patchwork outfit. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. That's like heavier than me. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like perfect. This is going in my bedroom. <laughs> is it bigger than the other one? Bigger than my Paco, yeah. for sure. Wonder what he thinks right now. How did you make this? This is crazy. We spent the last two weeks sewing it, and then drove it all the way here from Colorado. The details. Oh, thank you. I'm up here. Yeah, of course. We worked hard, we're glad you like it. I love it. It's awesome. I don't like it, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> After I surprised Bella, we took some pictures and then she filmed her new amazing music video. We just surprised Bella Porch, that's it for this video. New videos every Tuesday, I'll see you guys next week. Make sure you subscribe for $1,000, click this video right here. Bye! Oh, it's hard to talk that fast.